Yes, yes, I says, I've got this pajama guy. Before you start laughing at that, folks, have you, 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 the latest tweet from Organizing for America, have you seen this? Oh, you haven't seen this? It's, it, it, it's some metrosexual, I mean, even it, that's even dubious, in his pajamas, holding a cup of hot chocolate in two hands. And the, uh, the tweet is, how do, you, how do you plan to spend the cold days of December? Wear pajamas, drink hot chocolate, and talk about getting health insurance. And there's a hashtag, get talking, and it, you're supposed to spread this around. And this is how Obama is trying to organize his troops, spend the month of December thinking about, talking about getting health insurance. And the guy they're using here, I, I, it could be Rachel Maddow. It could be Fred Slobodnik. I mean, it, it, really, we could be looking at a eunuch here. I mean, it's, it, it, it's unreal. It's incredible. It's a sexless individual. No matter, you know, what, whatever your tastes are, this guy, this woman, whoever it is, can satisfy you. I'm, I'm not, I've got, I could show you on the ditto cam. I probably should do that now that I'm describing it. But, but and everybody sent this to me like, oh, Rush, this is incredible. Can you see this pajama boy? Republicans ought to be tweeting this out left and right. I just want to warn you people about something. This is no different than that Julia ad that we all laughed at and mocked and made fun of. And re- we kind of got our clocks cleaned on that ad. Just like we were shocked. To learn a lot of things, we found that a lot of women really identified with that Julia ad and thought that ad was them. They didn't think it was funny. They didn't think it was insulting. They thought it was who they are. The Julia ad was an abject embarrassment. It portrayed a woman incompetent, barely able to get out of bed without the government helping her. Unable to go to bed unless the government gave her birth control. There was never a man involved, yet she had a baby. She had a little garden. She lived in a government housing complex. We all laughed at it, and we thought, well, this is going to show people what Obama's all about. And remember, folks, there were a boatload of people that ate it up and dug it. So before you start thinking that this pajama guy ad is something negative for Obama, just remember the Julia ad. Now, I know it's a different era now. It's It's a year later, and the things have changed somewhat. But I'm... I'm not convinced that this is not an accurate portrayal of the Obama base. I think this may be who they are and how they see themselves, people.